Now, there are certain examples based on magnetic flux. That is the calculation of magnetic flux, that is phi, which is the cross product of B and A, or in scalar form, it is B A cos theta. Now, our first question is, the plane of the coil of area 1 meter square, and it has 50 turns, this is perpendicular to the magnetic field, and the value of the field is being provided, that is 3 into 10 to the power minus 5 Weber's per meter square. The magnetic flux linked with it will be. Now, four options are given to us, and we have to select a right option. So, when we solve this question, we find phi must be written as n b a cos theta, where n is the number of turns. If suppose we have not given any number of turns, we assume it will be a single turn. But in our question, we find that the number of turns are given as 50. So we use the function n b a cos theta. n is the number of turns, that is 50. b is magnetic field or magnetic induction, that is 3 into 10 to the power minus 5 Weber per meter square. And area of coil is provided to us, that is 1 meter square. Now, being it is written in the question, 50 turns is perpendicular to the magnetic field. So, in that case, theta must be taken as 0. And if we take theta as 0, cos 0 will become 1. And the net function will become phi is equal to nba. Now, compute the values like n, then put the value for b, then put the value a, and make calculations. It will become 1, 150 into 10 to the power minus 5 Weber's. Now, if we want to write in the terms of significant digits, however, we have calculated the right answer according to the option, that is 150 into 10 to the power minus 5 Weber's. Now, this can be written in terms of, uh, that is, uh, significant figures. Divide the number by 100 and multiply the number by 100. If we divide the number by 100, it will become 1.50 and multiply means that is 10 to the power minus 3. So what we find is first option is correct. So answer will be the first option. So we have to be more accurate during calculations. The answer we have already estimated, but this is not the right way of answering this question. We have to write our answers in significant digits. That's why we have divided the function by 100 and multiplied the function by 100. And as a result, we got the first uh, option. Now, what is electromagnetic induction? So regarding electromagnetic induction, what basically we do is we consider a coil and we bring a magnet nearby that coil. We find that galvanometer in that coil will indicate some deflection. So, electromagnetic induction is nothing. It is basically a phenomena in which due to change in flux, an induced current is developed or induced electromotive forces developed. That is what we have to discuss. So, electromagnetic induction, we find the change in magnetic flux linked with the circuit induces an EMF in it. This effect is called electromagnetic induction. Now, it is not necessary that we write induces an EMF. We can also say that due to change in magnetic flux, the current is induced in the coil. So, current induced in the circuit due to induced EMF is called induced current. Now, after that, uh, we have to come across Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Faraday suggested two things on the basis of observation. He first of all find uh, larger the change in flux, larger will be the induced EMF or induced current. So, in the first law, he has suggested due to change in magnetic flux, induced current is developed or induced EMF is developed and this development of induced current or induced EMF will continue up to the time there will be change in flux. Similarly, in the second statement, he suggested that rate of change of flux that will be directly proportional to phi. That is, phi is 
or we can say induce the mf e is d phi over dt so what is the first statement when the magnetic field linked with the circuit changes emf or current is induced in the current in the circuit as long as the magnetic field linked with the circuit changes emf or current is induced in the circuit the emf induced in the circuit is uh, directly proportional to the rate of change of magnetic flux this is seen this is shown mathematically e is the emf induced d phi is the flux dt is the time the change in flux rate of change in flux will be d phi over dt so e is proportional to d phi over dt so if we will assume that emf induced is e and the rate of change of flux is d phi by dt then e is proportional to d phi over dt but if there are n turns in the coil then we have to say that induced emf is proportional to n d phi by dt and when we remove this proportionality sign we bring into consideration the lenz's law and lenz's law basically states that the emf induced the emf induced or we can say if the rate of change of magnetic flux is one vapor per second then emf induced will be one volt this arrangement is indicating the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction when the magnet enters the coil the lines of forces are cut induced current is generated and induced current will be responsible for the glow of bulb so this is depicting the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction that is rate of change of flux will be directly proportional to induced current now again the water is doing the mechanical work on the magnetic needle when the needle will rotate flux will change due to change in flux again the induced current is generated and that induced current will give uh, will indicate that the bulb will glow so in both the cases we find that faraday's law of electromagnetic induction are verified the rate of change of flux will be directly proportional to induced current now what lenz's law states now lenz's law states that this law gives the direction of induced emf according to this law the direction of induced emf is such that it opposes the cause which produces it now what basically produces induced emf that is the change in flux so what we have written here that is lens stated that direction of induced emf or induced current in the circuit is such that it opposes the cause due to which it is produced so induced emf or induced current is produced due to change in flux so if we write phi is equal to or if we write e is equal to d phi over dt then proportionality sign we remove by putting a negative sign that is induced emf is equal to minus d phi over dt or for n turns square it should be minus n into d phi over dt since the magnitude of induced emf due to electromagnetic induction is obtained from faraday's law its direction is obtained from the lenz's law by combining the faraday's law and the lenz's law the expression for the emf induced by electromagnetic induction can be written as e is equal to minus d phi over dt negative sign is indicating that the emf or current induced will be opposite to the change in flux or it will be opposing the magnetic flux where negative sign shows that induced emf opposes the cause due to which it is produced so induced emf opposes the cause what is the cause of production of induced emf the cause of production of induced emf is change in flux so change in flux is opposed by induced emf and that is conveyed by the negative sign so e is equal to minus d phi by dt this law that is lenz's law is based on the law of conservation of energy that is in the whole process energy is neither created nor destroyed in electromagnetic induction mechanical energy is converted into electrical 
energy. In electromagnetic induction, magnetic energy is also converted into electrical energy. So, in circuit, EMF is induced due to change of magnetic flux and magnet mechanical energy. Now, there are certain examples based on the Lenz's law. Now, it is in the form of a small numerical. However, we can put it in the form of a concept. When a small piece of wire passes between the magnetic poles of the horseshoe magnet, when we consider the horseshoe magnet, in between the, horse, the poles, there is a magnetic field or the flux is there. A small piece of wire is passed between the magnetic poles of horseshoe magnet. There will be flux change. So what we find in 0.1 second, EMF induced due to change in flux will be 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 volts. That is what induced in the wire. The magnetic flux between the poles will be how much? So we are provided with four options here. So in the solution, we will start with E is equal to minus d phi by dt or d phi is equal to minus e dt. Then compute the value for e and compute the value for dt that is 0.1 and solve this value. And it comes to be 4 into 10 to the power minus 4 Weber's that is third option will be correct. The magnetic flux passing perpendicular to the plane of the coil. Again we are writing here passing perpendicular to the plane of the coil and directed into the paper is varying according to given relation. Phi is equal to 3d square plus 2t plus 3 where phi is in millivabers. Whenever number is given in millivabers, it is better to convert it to Weber's. So whatever number is in millivabers, it should be multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 and the number will convert into Weber's. So phi is in millivabers and t is in seconds. Then magnitude of induced EMF in the loop that is at t is equal to 2 seconds. Now again the options are given and in the adjoining figure the crosses are indicating the magnetic field and there is a coil and R is the resistance of the coil. Now in the solution what we do is we take the formula of induced EMF that is we are combining the Faraday's law and the Lenz's law. So E is equal to minus d phi over dt. d over dt we will take the derivative of 3t square plus 2t plus 3. And why we have multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3? Because we have converted Billy Weber's into Weber's. Now when we take the derivative of the number, it will be basically the rate of change of flux. So it is 60 plus 2 because derivative of 3 will be 0. Now, this E will be calculated by function minus 60 minus 2 into 10 to the power minus 3. So, from where the negative sign came, that is in the basic equation, the minus sign is there with d5 by dt. So, after taking the derivative, we have put the negative sign. Now, compute the value of T as 2 seconds and the result comes to be minus 14 millivolts. If you wanted to convert it to volts, then it should be that is millivolts means 10 to the power minus 3 and if you wanted to convert it to volts it will be as it is given so third answer is the right option the normal magnetic flux passing through a coil changes with time according to the following equation phi is equal to 10 t square plus 5 t plus 1 where phi is in millivabar and t is in seconds the value of induced EMF produced in the coil at t is equal to 5 seconds will be how much? Again, four options are given. Now, in order to solve the question, we have to again combine the Faraday's law and the Lenz's law. EMF induced is estimated by function minus d phi over dt. Now, putting the negative sign as it is and take the derivative of the number 10t square plus 5t plus 1 and milliweber is converted into Weber's. If we take the derivatives, it will be 20t plus 5 and after that put the value of t and the result will be 0.105 volts. So answer is the fourth option.